bought every single wood bat and we are going to try them all out today. We have cheap, we have expensive, we have bamboo, we have it all. And we are going to find out what is the best wood bat. Now, when I went to the store, I bought the cheapest, the most expensive, and everything in between. Now, obviously I didn't buy 79 different wood bats, okay? But I tried to get one from every price range. So everyone, depending on if you're a billionaire or you have no money, we might be able to find a good bat for you. So let's go check it out. So the first wood bat actually cost me $5, okay? I bought like 10 of these at one time and it was like $50 total. So this is a no brand wooden bat. Maybe this is incredible or terrible. Let's try it out. And just like every challenge I've done in the past few videos, we're gonna get exit velocities off the tee and then we're gonna go live off some live BP and see how good the bat actually performs. There's a voice squeak, but let's go hit. All right, swing one, roll me over. 82, and again, three swings each. Ah, ground ball again, 83. All right, we're consistent. Ooh, that's a home run. 88, boom, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was bat one, not bad. 88 on a bat that costs $5, that's pretty good. And that's just off the tee. We still gotta hit live, so that could change everything. Bat number two is going to be the Louisville Slugger. This is the lowest end bat that you can actually buy at a store. Maybe you can go to a different store and buy a cheaper one. But the store I was at, this is the cheapest. It was $39.99. Uh, I'm assuming this is terrible. But let's go find out. All right, here we go. A Louisville Slugger. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, actually a good swing. 85, all right, not bad. Ah, roll me over. 87, all right, still good velo. Oh yeah, that's ripped. 86, wow. Okay, well we got our speeds. That's worse than the cheapest bat. That's not a good start. Okay, I won't lie. I thought I was gonna be better because that bat is way more expensive than the $5 bat, but it failed. So very interesting scientific experiment so far. But bat number three, we have a Mizuno bamboo bat. All right, I actually used this before when I was like a lot younger, but this bat runs just 70 bucks, all right? And I remember the first game I used one of these, it shattered. The very first hit completely broke. And yeah, someone remind me to get some freaking pine tar, all right? It's so hard to grip these bats with no pine tar. So please tell me, hey Mighty, get some freaking pine tar. Tell me in the comments, get pine tar, please. But here we go, Mizuno Bamboo. Oh, that's ripped. 88, all right, that's not bad. Still haven't cracked 90 yet. Oh yeah, that felt good. 87, that's slower? Bro, I don't know what's happening to me, but I usually hit 90 and I haven't touched it once today. Come on. 88, all right. Definitely the most consistent. That's tied for first, right? Still no 90s though, but we're still in the cheap bats, bro. All right, so yeah, that bat was decent. Still not as good as I thought it was gonna be, but now we are upgrading to the Rawlings Big Stick bat, okay? This bat, 100 bucks, but I'm assuming this is made out of maple since it says Maple Ace on it. So this is a maple bat, uh, 100 bucks. This better perform better than the previous three or else wood bats are a scam. All right, can we please crack 90? And no people, this is not pine tar. I wish it was. They just made the bat look like it had pine tar on. So kind of a cool look, but I need pine tar. Going for 90, let's go. Ooh, sounds a lot louder, 86. Okay, not bad. Ah, that's slow, 85. Come on, what is going on? Oh yeah, come on, 88, oh my God. Literally every bat is 88, I swear. What are we doing? All right, so three of the four bats topped out at 88 miles per hour. So, so far, no. Price or brand or material doesn't matter, okay? But now we're stepping up to a $200 wood bat. I just spit everywhere, but this is the Victus JC24. Uh, this bat is basically top of the line. I'm sure there's a bat maybe a little bit more expensive. Wood bats, I'm talking. And no, I wasn't about to buy another one. I already have one, okay? So like, no, I'm not gonna go buy a brand new Victus bat because they're expensive, all right? So this bat is about 200 bucks, and I really don't know a better wood bat. I mean, like, if you have any suggestions of bats, wood bats that you think are better as far as the price range goes, let me know, and I will try them out in another video. But I'm assuming all $90 bats are about the same. So let me know some baseball bats you guys like, and I'll have to try them out, but this thing better crack 90, bro. If it tops out at 88 again, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. All right, here we go, Victus, $200 bat, probably gonna hit 88. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, 91. Oh my, okay. 89. That's good. Still not 90, but right here is gonna be 90. That's a home run. 
89. God dang. I can't 90. Frick. Okay, so I won't lie. All these bats are basically the same. The only big difference is the $200 bat hit 89. So you got to decide. Is spending an extra like $150 on a bat worth one mile per hour? Probably not, but that's just off the radar. Now we're going off the machine and we are going to hit some baseballs and I'm going to one by everybody knows the rules, pizza scale this thing and we're going to see the reviews, okay? Okay, the first bat again is going to be the $5 cheap wood bat. No brand here. Let's see how good this says live. <laughs> Woo, okay. That feels pretty, that feels pretty good. <laughs> Did that break? That literally sounded like it broke. <laughs> okay, let me get one more here. Oh, all right, yeah, we're crushing these balls, but basically every hit with this, it felt like it was gonna break, but the ball did jump off the bat pretty good, probably pretty good exit velocities. One probably went out, so seven, six. All right, so we have a seven, six for the no name. Now we're going to the Louisville Slugger. Again, this bat is 39.99 plus tax, obviously, but let's try this one out. Ugh, date, freaking hurt. Oh my God, that's so far. Oh, I popped it up. Huh? Okay, talk about perfect, perfect MLB the show. Um, I won't lie, I dropped the hands on basically every single swing. So I won't lie, I like the $5 bat more. I'm gonna give this one a six nine. All right, now we got the bamboo bat, the Mizuno. This is again, 69 bucks. My timing is so bad. That literally stung. So bad, oh my God. I feel like they're pitching about my head right now. Ugh. Honestly, I think I liked the Louisville Slugger better, but barely. This is a 6.8, just barely better. And now we got the Rawlings Maple Ace. 100 bucks on this one. This thing, I feel like it's gonna kill it. I really do. That's a home run. And yeah, I hit that ball so hard that I actually broke one of the clips holding up the net. <laughs> ah. Way under that one. Oh my God, what am I doing? I like that one. All right, so I mean, this bat felt pretty good. Uh, I think this was the only bat that I didn't like hurt my hands on. It's definitely better. It's the best one so far, but it's still not amazing. So I'm gonna give it like a seven, eight. All right, seven, eight. I think that puts it in first place. But now we're swinging the $200 Victus JC24. I've used this bat before, so I kind of know how it feels, but I haven't used it after swinging four other wood bats. So I think this is gonna really open up our eyes to see how good this bat is or how bad it is. This better be good, okay? Oh yeah, that one felt good. Ah, ground ball, third base. Oh my God, what? How am I missing these? Oh! Ha! Ah. I'm doing a little Tula Witski here. Little Albert Pujols. Boom! Definitely the best one yet, 8-1. That's the score, 8-1, mark it down. Okay, well, there you guys go. I tried five different bats at five different price points. You guys saw the exit velocities. You guys saw the live batting practice. You saw what it looked like off the bat, all that stuff, okay? And again, I know this would look way better with a baseball sim, and I'm still trying to buy one, okay? I had one lined up, it kind of fell through. Uh, I'm still working on it, but once that shows up, oh my God. So hopefully it'll be here within the next few videos, and then we are basically going to change everything. I mean, like literally, if I have this baseball sim, when I hit these balls, if you guys don't know what a baseball sim is, when I hit a ball, it shows me the distance. It shows me the ball flight. It shows me how hard I hit it. It shows me if it would have been a home run, double, triple, out, whatever. It shows me everything. So once we get that, it is going to change how we grade all these bats, how we test it, how we do the challenges. It's gonna be amazing, okay? The one final challenge we have, and this could be the most important to some of you guys, is what the bat looks like, okay? We base it off speed, how it felt live, and now we're going off appearance, okay? So I'm gonna lay these down and what I think looks the best. And last place, we're going the basic Louisville Slugger. You might be wondering why. Because it's literally just like, I couldn't tell if this was a wiffle ball bat or a real bat, so this is in last place. In second to last place, we are going the Mizunu bat, all right? The only reason is because I can at least tell this is a wood bat, all right? It's just basic 
Not that impressed. So this is in second to last place. In third place, this might be shocking. Boom, all right? Now, I know this bat might look cool to you guys. Again, pretty basic. I don't like the fake pine tar, all right? I like what they're doing with it, but I don't like it. So that's in third place. That leaves us two bats. I have a favorite and a second favorite. And in second place, we have the Victus, okay? Now, no one can look this up, all right? No one can look this bat up. You would have to type in wood bat. You might not find it. So this is basically unique. It stands out. It's beautiful, okay? And if you ever see someone pulling up to the batter's box with a bat with nothing on it, leave the game because he's going to beat you, okay? He's going to hit four home runs, four grand slams. Even if no one's on base, they're going to count it as a grand slam. Why are you going to go so close to me, bro? Get back. Let me know your guys' rankings, okay? But that's the rating right there. From right to left, the hottest bat to the ugliest bat. Okay, so after all three tests, I have decided what my favorite bat is, okay? Again, three tests, it's really limited down to one bat that is the clear best, all right? And that has to be the $5 no-named bat, okay? Again, off the tee, I hit that ball 88, which is tied for second place, okay? The only bat that did better is a $200 Victus. So for $195 more, we gained one mile per hour. So not worth it in my opinion. And then live off the pizza scale review rating, it got a 7.6. And that is technically third place, but it's almost second place. It was 0.1 below the, uh, the, the $99 Rawlings bat. So it's basically tied for second place in there. And then of course, for looks, it's number one. So honestly, I'm going with that one. But again, when we get that live uh, or the, uh, the baseball sim and we can actually see the data behind it, the extra velocities, the distance, if it would have been a hit, whatever, all that stuff, we're going to really be able to tell what is the best wood bat, metal bat when we do all these challenges. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favorite wood bat ever. It doesn't have to be one of these, but just let me know your favorite wood bat ever and I will be sure to try it out. But uh, yeah, that baseball sim should be here soon. Who knows? Could be here tomorrow or in three years. But it better be here soon. But yeah, it's going to be amazing when it shows up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.